Is your neck pain affecting your business and your personal life? Are you in pain when you wake up or when you get back from work? Keep watching this video. Hello there, my name is Andrea Croci. In this video, I will show you how to prevent chronic neck pain from controlling your life. The idea is that you understand the cause of your neck pain and discover methods to stop it from interfering with your personal and professional life. Let's get it started, shall we? Stretch and strengthening. Here we are going to stretch the muscle that are overly uh, worked and uh, overused because they get tight due to the daily task we perform, like working on our phones, like I do, uh, sitting at the desk, like my clients do. Uh, these muscles need lengthening because they become tight, they become shortened, yeah? so they need lengthening. Once we lengthen those muscles, we need to strength, strengthen, make the, the muscle of, of the opposite side stronger. Yeah? So let's start with that. So I'm going to start with the beginning techniques that we're going to do in a seated position with the tower. And then we will move to our advanced technique. Yeah, so first of all, you grab the towel. Uh, it's a medium towel for me. We wrap it up and we, this is my interfere with the microphone. We place it on our neck this way. And then we're going to cross our hands. What does it mean? Let's pay attention before you start trying. Look what I do, okay? So the left hand is going to grab the right side of the towel. The right hand is going to grab the left hand side of the towel. But I'm going to do it without the towel first to show you the movement. So once I grab the towel, I'm going to come across my jaw. Yeah? So the movement is not a rotation, it's an elevation. So we're elevating. We're bringing up our chin to stretch the ECM, which is a very long name for the muscle. And that is going to stretch this muscle, which is usually tight. It's very easy. Let me show you. Let me show you again with the other opposite end. So I'm going to grab the left hand side of my towel and I'm going to place the hand around my sternum, which is the bone in your chest. I'm gonna grab the opposite side with my left hand, I'm gonna bring it across. As you can see here, I'm lifting my arm and my elbow. I'm not rotating them. I'm not doing a rotation. I'm not doing a rotation, okay? This is the first uh, stretch is very easy. Do it in a seated position if you feel comfortable. You can do it in a standing position. Obviously, if you're not used to stretching your neck, that can cause a bit of dizziness. It can cause eventually to faint. And obviously, if you are standing, you can feel, uh, fall on the floor. So a seated position, from in my professional opinion, is the most safe. We are gonna step into a more advanced technique of stretching which is going to be for the pectoral muscle so follow me and we're going to start on the stretching those pecs so in this stretching we're gonna uh, operate on the pectoral muscle the pectoral muscle has the pectoral major and the pectoral uh, minor the minor which is the small one below the clavicle bone is the one that get, that get more tight due to our uh, daily task. Like I said before, phone, desk, some people may drive, and most of our uh, social life is a forward movement. So we push in the door, uh, we bring stuff from the floor. I know it's a pulley movement, but uh, actually our shoulder tends to go forward when we lift stuff from the floor. So the first uh, stretch 
is for the on back the corner, corner which you place the hand the frame of the door and you just lean a bit forward that should be enough if your pectoral muscle is if tense if you don't your your pectoral muscle might not be that tense but your pectoral minor could still be tense so you need to address those fibers to address those fibers i uh, rotate my hands place it with a straight elbow and lean a bit deeper into the position and I do feel the stretch more around the clavicle so you do we will you will feel that stretch higher rather than in the lower parts of the pectoral muscle so once this muscle here which are the one that usually are shorten a stretch it's time to address the back muscle which are the trapezius and uh, the rhomboids so let's go do that let's come with me and let's do that remember to take a moment to subscribe to this channel and like this video and you know share it <laughs> so it's time of the strengthening of this video the strengthening consists into a contraction I'm not talking about strengthening like lifting heavy weights, going to the gym, or that kind of things. It's just contracting the muscle that is usually lengthened. And uh, the one is usually lengthened are the back muscle. I'm going to turn, so it's going to be the trapezius in the neck area, and the uh, rhomboids, which are strength, which are a stretch when we lean forward and we are curved with our thoracic spine so the best option here is to do a shrug an isometric shrug which is obviously a, a contraction of the muscle without any loads we don't have any weights on our hands we're just contracting the muscle fibers for 10 15 seconds you can go 20 and you bring in uh, blood flow with that there's more oxygen in it there's the nutrients and uh, obviously because of the contraction it's gonna burn calories and when you burn calories you generate heat so that is gonna warm up the area and it's gonna provide nutrients to that muscle that is usually stretch and lengthen so now we're gonna contract and shorten like the pectoral muscle and the ECM were shortened when we usually are in the so-called wrong position or bad, pos uh, bad posture. This is not a, a good posture, but it's still, it's a more adequate posture because it's a more natural posture, yeah? Uh, let's go with the second uh, exercise, which is a row, and we're gonna do a sit and row, and I'm gonna show you with an elastic band. So here we have uh, elastic band, this is quite light because obviously people that come to me, they're in severe pain and uh, they cannot use a regular band uh, that tends to be quite stronger. So this is a band, uh, band rock band from Rock Tape, which is what I use the most. And I'm going to wrap this up here. That's called an anchor. There's an anchor point. And basically, I'm going to have my arms there extend. I'm going to be in a correct uh, correct position am i gonna lift a bit so here i got my knees at 90 degree uh chest open and i just bring as you can see i'm gonna bring my elbow straight down straight back it's a pulling option uh, extending your arm and bringing your elbow behind your shoulder basically i'm not sure if you can see me and this is going to activate all your back muscle in general the lats the rotator cuff and uh, the most important in this case which are the rhomboids which are not muscle meant to lift weight but they are muscle meant to stabilize to make your shoulder griddle which is the shoulder joint as stable as possible especially when you go on overhead movements so why will this help you um, helping hundreds of people throughout the years i start discovering pain patterns 
And when it comes to the upper back, the common one is the neck and shoulder are lengthened, uh, in a lengthened position most of the time. And obviously, as I say through the video, you, you're driving, you're on the phone most of the time, and you're on the desk most of the time. So that lengthened position ends up uh, with the muscle getting fatigue. So by stretching the overactive muscle in the front of our body, like the chest, so there's the pectoral muscle and the ECM in the neck, we are releasing some of the downwards forces, pulling us forwards, uh, creating that protracted posture. And by uh, strengthening our back muscle, we allow them to counteract the forces from our frontal chain. This uh, will uh, help us uh, avoid those uh, rounded posture that is creating the pain. So to conclude this video, I want to thank you for watching uh, until now. And uh, if you have any questions regarding back pain and neck pain, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below. And uh, if you open the description box, you can find the direct link to my web page uh, where you can find more information regarding myself, regarding uh, my services. And uh, the web page is called heal with intention and uh, thank you again and have a great day